Hi, here's the gateway and entrance to property S-1326. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is a property in the village of Pomberia, just outside Alviazari. It's um, excellently priced. It's at 225,000 euros. It's a large property. We have three separate buildings. There's the one behind me, which is in need of total, total renovation. Okay, it's basically a storage, and some of the floors are gone. It's a complete refurb. Here, on the left, we have the main house, where we're going to go into first. And then there's a courtyard joining the main house and the guest annex. Behind you, which you've already seen in the drone footage, is a large covered area. It used to be a woodworking unit, shed, okay? And there's a swimming pool, which is gated. You've got 5,000 square metres of land, and all of these buildings cover 380 square metres of build. It's 225k. It's a really good price. Okay, so I'm going to take you into the main house first. So what I haven't mentioned is this covered area outside of the main entrance to the main house. In a day like today, that's a lovely bit of shade where you can sit outside and have a cup of tea. So we're just entering the property after that shaded area. You have a main bathroom here on your left hand side. Modern, nice, grey tiles, walk-in shower, toilet, wash basin, and room for the washing machine, okay? Then if you come down here, you have the main living area. Nice fireplace. Wood burning stove in there. Lots of light. It's a very nice layout actually because it's unusual. So we've got a dining area here and then through here we have a big kitchen. Easy space for that table in here if you wanted to move things around. Another fireplace, wood burning. Nice big space. Loads of workspace actually. So, having just come out of the kitchen and the lounge area, there's a doorway which Paul stood in. There's a corridor here. You can see behind me the bedroom, which is an ensuite bedroom. To the right is a double bedroom, and to the left are the stairways, stairwell going downstairs. So now Paul will show you that with a camera. Hi, so 
now we're in that ensuite bedroom. So this is on what is actually the second floor on this property, but the kitchen, the lounge, two bedrooms and the bathroom are on the second floor. So it's a long room, plenty of space for the double bed, the side table either side. And then at the end here, we have the ensuite bathroom. with bathtub. So, we come downstairs, the front is quirky and there's all very down the stairs as well. We come into the downstairs room, solid wooden floor, wooden ceiling, long screen, long defense. Again, light. Unusual for a downstairs or stone property to have lots of light, like this does. There's also, well, essentially, a door here. Let's go down up here. True, this was originally would have been an exterior wall. Into another nice big space. Bedroom, I quit. So now Paul's showing you just the view. We will have the, the garden part of the land goes up a up a hill behind the property. There are some cork oaks, there's eucalyptus right at the top, and there's a well here. Uh, we've got a lovely flat terrace. As you keep going round, you'll just see the village of Pomberia and the rear of the properties that we've been in. So if you've just seen, there's a storage area to the left, which has a door here as well, the metal doors at the front. I've got the covered area behind, above me. And they go into the conservatory in this property. So this is the second property, smaller property, but still with two bedrooms. So here we are having entered into the conservatory. There is you can't see it, but there's a little door here with a just a WC and a wash basin in it. So, having walked in from the conservatory, we're in a room that is more or less just used for storage. Uh, in the older Portuguese houses, the bedrooms, some of them, are only just big enough really to get a double bed in, a couple of side tables, but normally not a wardrobe. So, here we have storage space. I mean, this could actually be converted into another bedroom or a little snug or... But right now it's storage. This bedroom behind me has a single bed in it, but it also has the wardrobe. The bedroom you'll now look in has the double bed. But as you'll see, it's limited storage, so hence the wardrobe being in the room that I'm still stood in. Um, and the kitchen, good size kitchen, plenty of work for me, plenty of space, nice height, doors in this house, there's a serious door behind you as well, nice features through the window actually, flowers, lovely time with you, and you come to the room, we've got the lounge. So here we have the lounge area of this two bedroom property, we have a wood burning stove, and 
a nice space that'll be lovely. I imagine it's quite toasty in here in, in the winter months, but of course the heat will flow through to the rest of the cottage.